The massive, intense fire that caused a million dollars in damage at a home under construction is being called an accident. We first brought you this story as breaking news last night on 10 News at 11. Since then, 10 News reporter Hannah Mullins has learned firefighters had to deal with embers flying from the fire. This is just a shell of a home. The good news is no one lived there, but just a few feet away next door, the child's family has lived there for 20 years. They've raised children there, and one of them may have helped save their home. The child's family seems to be having a picture-perfect holiday, but this is what they were up against last night. So we've done a lot of work on this home. You know, we've modeled this home. My kids have grown up here. And, you know, I really don't think I realized how much it meant to me until we almost lost it last night. The house next door had been under construction for the past year and never had a chance to become a home. These were the terrifying images when it caught fire. And these were the frightening sounds heard over the scanner. We've got a fully house, house, house here. We've got a lot of sparks raining down. Uh, there's a the house on the trolley, trolley, trolley side starting to go. 17-year-old Henry Childs was the first to see the flames out the window. In a matter of seconds, most of the second story was on fire. He woke his parents up, got his brother out, called 911, then rushed to check on his neighbors. But then by the time I made it back out here, the entire house is gone. Couldn't have been more than two or three minutes. And every minute, the fire grew more destructive. Henry grabbed the garden hose and tried to protect his parents' house. I ran up to the fire crews and said, please save my house. The fire department told us that we were a minute away from losing our house. The childs couldn't be more thankful for fire crews. Oh, thank, thank you, you. Yeah, because they immediately went through, you know, yeah, in between the homes so and saved ours. And mom couldn't be more proud of her son. Very proud of Henry. I mean, he's agile, he's quick, quick thinking, and thank God he was home. I thank the Lord that I was, I was home that night, you know, and I was able to help my family. In Mission Hills, Hannah Mullins, 10 News.